In this video, you will learn about how you can keep some rows and columns visible by using the freeze panes function in Excel. Now, if we take a look at this table, we can see that the data in our table exceeds the size of our screen. So let's say we want to keep the first row containing our headers to be visible as we scroll to our data. To do this, we can go to the View tab and then Freeze Paints and select Freeze Top Row. Now you can see that the first row will be visible as we scroll down through our data. If you want to keep the first column visible as we scroll to the side, we can again go to View, Freeze Paints, and then select Freeze First Column. Now, instead of the first row, we have kept the first column visible. However, Freeze Top Row only keeps the first row visible, and Freeze First Column only keeps the first column visible. So if we want to keep both rows and columns visible at the same time, we will need to use a different option. So first, let's just unfreeze the panes. And now let's say we want to keep both the first row and the first column visible. To do this, we will have to select the cell that comes after the rows and columns that we want to freeze. So if we want to freeze the first row and first column, we will have to select the cell that is in the second row and in the second column. So in this case, we'll select B2, and then we go again to View, Freeze Panes, and select Freeze Panes. Now you can see that the first column is visible and the first row is also visible as we scroll through our data. Now let's take a look at another example. In this case, we want to keep the two lines of headers visible and we want to keep the ID number visible. So again, we will need to select the cell that comes after the rows and columns that we want to freeze. So here, since we are freezing the first and second row, as well as the first column, we would need to select the cell that is in the third row and the second column. So in this case, we would select B3. And again, we go to View, Freeze Paints, Freeze Paints. Now you can see the ID number is visible and both lines of headers are also visible as we scroll through our data.